Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm going to have a little play again with the feathering effect. Uh, but today I'm going to do greens because I've done uh, the yellow and orange and red one. And I've done the pinks with the black and red. And then just recently I did blues with the black. So keeping on that little train of thought, I'm going to go greens with the black background or negative space because I really, really love that. So trying to create my own little niche, I guess. So I've got my resin in here. All nine are filled up. I've got a little bit of resin in the, in the cups here. About a quarter of a cup. Um, I've got my pigments in there. Um, this one's just black. These ones have all got some white mixed in with them and I just put my pigments in here in these squeeze bottles and I know how many drops to get out. So I've got two drops of colored pigment and one drop of white pigment in these. Um, this one is a mixture of the bluey and the green that's just the blue that's just my green my other green and then that one's green with a touch of black and then that's just black just so I've got some shades of of green because I don't have a lot of green I think I've only got two shades of green um, so let's get started shall we um, the resin is the platinum ultra um, but just pick something that's not too thick I tried using a thick resin, um, the Delcom, and it was too thick and didn't work. Nothing dropped. So <laughs> I guess uh, maybe if you're struggling, try try a thinner resin. Right. Um, where to begin? Where to begin? Now, if you've seen my other little videos like this, you know that I do a test piece in there. Drop colors in. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to add five drops of my alcohol. It comes in a spray bottle, so I put it in the nozzle so I can um, drop drops in. That's 100% isopropanol. So let's just do, start with five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Get in there. One, two, three, four, five. Some of the colors, I've got a spray. Shut up, three, four, five, I think. <laughs> um, some of the colours are heavier than others, um, or maybe it's got a tiny bit more white in it than the other colours, so they'll be heavier and they'll want to sink more. So you'll have to add more alcohol to the ones that sink. But um, yeah, just try not to put too much white in. I've just put a little bit of white in, obviously, because I want my colours to drop. The white pigment is what makes your colours drop. The swirling in an hour is what gives you your feathering um, and the alcohol as well it gives movement to the the feathering when you swirl it so give it a good stir in and then we'll test them and see how they go and if they drop if the little drops drop to the ground or to the bottom I should say uh, then they'll need more alcohol. If they just float and spread, then they've got too much alcohol and then you need to add more pigment. So it's just a matter of just trialing them. There's no like real set recipe. I've got a little bit extra black because I'm doing a lot of black. So I made a double batch of the black. I don't have black in a dropper, so I just tip the end of my stick into the black pigment paste. Right, let's do a little test, shall we? Oh, I'm nervous, well, it doesn't work. I've been trialing them, practicing them. I did one before, I did one this morning and I videoed it, but it didn't work, it was all blobby, so I chucked it, you won't see that video. So really, it's, it's one step forward, two steps back. Well, for me anyway. Now, just when I think I've got it, nope, the resin plays games with you and says, no. Nah, you haven't got it, woman. Try again. All right. Now, let me look at my little blobs. The light green <clears throat> has sunk. 
Actually, now that I've finished stirring and things, I'll see if I can zoom you in a little bit closer. Hang on one sec. Oh, it's so hard to push the button when you've got powder on your hands. Oh, can't do it. From the gloves? Oh, can't do it. Right, it's always a mammoth effort to kind of do that because the gloves have got powder on them and then I've got powder on my hands and I can't press the button on my phone. It won't work. <laughs> All right, now this dark green one has dropped, that one, and the light green one, that one has dropped. So I'm going to add another five drops of alcohol. Two, three, four, five. You've dropped a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven on you and see what happens, hey? Because he's dropped a lot. I might have put a bit too much pigment in that one. I cut a new hole in the top of my little bottle. So I think I've got an extra drop of pigment in that one. Right, let's try the light green again, see what happens. And I'll stir up this green. And see if it will float a little bit more. So hopefully you can see, I've zoomed you in, so hopefully you can see that they've, that green has dropped to the bottom. All right, now we just need to give that a minute and see if it's any different. I'll just keep stirring these, give them a good stir. I haven't let my resin sit. Like, I just poured it straight in, you know, mixed my colours, so... You know, it's been sitting there a little while, I guess, but I haven't, like, left it on purpose to thicken up or anything. I don't want the resin to thicken up because, as I said earlier, the thick resin didn't work because it, the drops were couldn't go through. There's too much resistance on, on the colour and it wouldn't fall through. They just all sat on top. All right, that green's looking better. This dark green is still not dropping. One, two, three. So the, you've had an extra ten now. Now the other little light greens had an extra five. So we'll see how that goes. And sometimes I do one and it works and then sometimes I do another one thinking it's exactly the same and it doesn't work at all. Oh, it's so frustrating. All right, let's just give that a minute. See, I'd rather them drop and have a little bit more thicker feathers than they just sit on top and you don't get any feathery effect at all. So I would prefer that. I'm just going to put a bigger drop in and see what it does. Sometimes you can't really judge on a little drop. And this one as well. because it's a, it's a heavier drop that's going in. <clears throat> so I just want to make sure that it's not going to, to sink before I start. There's no point doing them all and then they sink. And you've just kind of ruined them. So just wait. <clears throat> Take this time, be patient. This lighter bluey one here, it's, um, it's spread the most. I wonder if I should put another drop of pigment in that one. I might just put a tiny little drop of something in that one. It's like half a drop. If I can. And just see how that goes. It's just maybe a little bit light. See, it's kind of floating. Oh, now, which was that? Which was the drop I just did? Which was the dark green drop that I just did? Because everything sunk. I haven't put too much in that now. This this one here, this, which one? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, they've all sunk. Okay, um, another five. One, two, three, four, five. other colors all seem to be good 
and not sinking. I hope I haven't put too much pigment in that one now. Okay, there we go. Put another drop of that one in. So that's that one there. That's my latest one. And that one there is the latest one. Is it dropping? <laughs> Looks like it might be dropping a touch. I'm just going to put a drop in. One drop of alcohol. Actually, let's do it too. I probably shouldn't have put the other bit of pigment in. Okay, test that. Now, how's that dark green doing? It's sitting. We'll keep an eye on it. I can't see what's going on with that one. It's too close to the other one. So like I said, this is the really important part. So don't rush this. Don't think, oh yeah, it's good. Just, just wait. Make sure that nothing's going to drop. See that one there? The one that I... See, I shouldn't have added that extra pigment. See, it's dropping there now. But I have put the other two drops of alcohol in to this one here. So we'll see what it's doing. The green over there, that's the latest of the dark green. So maybe that extra few drops of alcohol has helped with that one. Just going to wait another little while just to see what this bluey green's doing. It's more of a turquoisey, really. It's really hard to get shades of green because they all look the same if you make them too similar. Nothing's dropping just yet. So I think we're good. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to start with the black. Um, I don't want the black to drop. I want it to stay on the top. So obviously it's got no white in it to make it drop. Otherwise it would go grey, wouldn't it? So I'm going to keep an eye on the colours just while I'm adding my, my black. And I'm going to change to my little spoon now. And clean these off. Use them again tomorrow. Actually, no, not tomorrow. I have to go to work tomorrow. My family's all flying off to a wedding. Our niece's wedding in Melbourne tomorrow. Leaving me to look after the dogs because I can't go. I can never go anywhere. I've got the dogs. So they're all going in the morning. And I won't be able to paint because I'll be at work. All resin. Okay, I'm going to start with four. I'm going to move you guys out of the way before I knock you over. All right, you're keeping an eye on those colours for me in the test piece. What are they doing? start with four of the black so you should get like four drops out of your little spoonful just a tiny little teaspoon it's not a normal size teaspoon it's just a little baby one and don't put your color in from up high just let it sit on top because you don't want to drop it from a height um, it'll just fall straight through so try and get it as close to the surface as you can and just do a little drop nothing too big again if you make it too big it's too heavy and it just sort of falls through so don't make it too big it's just one drop really I might add more black later we'll see what it happens once I put the other colors in I'll fill these little molds up a little bit more than I did last time because they were overflowing last time all right we'll wipe the black off How's our green doing? Yay, the green's doing okay. Now I'm a bit concerned about this one. I'm going to add one more drop. Whoa, oh no. I think a few went in. I wonder if I can get a little bit out that I just put on top. Probably not. Okay. I'm going to test this one while I add some of the other colour. The dark green... Seems to be good. I only, should, I only put one little drop of the dark green in. I should test it again. Because that one, I only did one drop of that one. Okay, um, now I think I'm happy with this light green. So let's go with the, the light green. 
limey color while the other colors are just I'm still watching them if I can remember which one I put so that's I think that's my new blue and then that's my new green so I'll just keep an eye on those while I put some color in we'll start with three that's in the way Start with three of each of the greens. We'll see how we go. If one of the colors touches one of the other colors, it kind of clings to it. it. Won't sort of spread over the top, it kind of just cling to it and sink next to it, which is okay. I wouldn't mind some of my colors blending, but my colors don't really blend. They kind of stay separate. And I've just got enough, I think. Oh, you're not sinking, are you? Mm. It sinks a little bit, that's okay. All right, what are these guys doing? All right, I'm going to go with this one. This one looks as if it's behaving now. Actually, let's change over to the spoon. I haven't got much left of that pale green. It's all pretty much gone. It looks as if it's kind of dropping a little bit, the pale green, but not too bad. As long as it doesn't drop too far, we'll get some really pretty little featherings. So just basically filling in the gaps. Three drops again, same as with the other colours, except for the black, which has got four. I hope I've got enough of this one. Mm. I used so much in my little test piece, I might not have enough now to go around. I don't know why I don't make more. I should just make more. I don't know. I think I'll lose quite a bit of it sitting on the spoon. Let's see if I can get a little bit out with the stick. Come on. I only need a tiny bit more. Come on, be nice. I haven't got any resin left over. Oh, gee, talk about scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, next time, I can't even get that. Next time I'm going to make up more. Okay, next colour. Those two are done. Maybe this one can have a little bit more of the lighter green, I guess. Oh. Change over to my spoon. Here we go. One, two, three. I might come back and put a little bit more. Oh goodness, you're filling up. Why are you so full? I hope they don't overflow. Whoops, that was a big drop. I tend to lose concentration towards the end and my back starts hurting because I've been bending over. And then I just rush it and then I put like a too big a drop in. These ones here haven't got much in the way of the other colours. They seem to be dropping more. The smaller little dots seem to be dropping more, which is bizarre. Have I got everything? No, still got one more green to go. I'm going 
have a little bit more because you haven't got much of the other colour. Alright, so now there's just this darker green to go. I've kind of put it on top of a couple of the other colours to see if they will blend. Three of each. One, two, three. Oh, you're very full. Oh. Maybe over here, there's a gap there. Yeah, I'm going to have to start making up more colour if I'm going to do nine little pendants. Well, nine including the test piece, which obviously needs some as well. I do lose a drop in that spoon actually, so I need to scrape that out. These two here on the end, they probably won't work as well because they haven't got much colour in them, I don't think. Alright, that's all I can get out. Phew! Let me clean my spoon. Oh, this one's leaking. Look! Oh, burst the banks on that one. Mm. It's hard to tell if they're full or not. Well, you have to because you have to allow some room to add your colour. See if I can take a bit out. Once you've broken your surface tension, it's really hard to stop it. From overflowing once you've broken those walls. Will that be all right? Are you okay now? Oh. Phew! I think it's okay. I'll keep an eye on it. a tiny bit more out okay look at the mess I've made oh my gosh oh all right let me just clean my gloves and then I will turn you off and what's the time now it is ten past six ten past six in the evening so uh, ten past seven I'll come back actually no I'm gonna do 45 minutes I'm gonna come back at seven o'clock that's 50 minutes all right so I'll see you then and uh, we'll do the swirl I'm not real confident if it's going to work though because some um, some of them have have dropped not as badly as those let me see mm, yeah some of them have dropped I don't know practice 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 all right I'll be back in 45 minutes <laughs> and we'll swirl. See you then. Right, oh, I am back. It's seven o'clock. Hubby's just arrived back with some yummy pizzas. So let's get this swirled and then I'm going to go and eat my pizza. Yummo. Now, I was looking at these. And these ones over here on the side where I was putting those little tiny drops in, the pigments actually sunk more than the, the bigger drops. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but these over here that had the bigger drops, they haven't sunk as much. So, But anyway, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try again with these colours and um, not put so much paste in, some pigment paste, and, and see if it makes it a little bit lighter. But anyway, here we go with the swirl. Just got to be careful I don't overflow anything. 
So it leaves that stringy little end there. Let's give it a wipe. I'm trying to like go through all the areas so I get swirls everywhere. Um, and just kind of different different kind of designs I guess in all of them. You can see it's starting to get quite thick now my resin. I'm not sure if it's going to work all that well because of my pigment that has dropped down, but that's okay. It's another experiment. I'll do it again. Well, as I said, I can't, I, you know, I'm working tomorrow, so I won't be able to do it anymore, but I wouldn't mind having another go on the weekend and just trying again with maybe not making my pigment paste quite so heavy. Just so it floats a bit more. Might as well do that one as well, even though it's just all clumped to the bottom. <laughs> See how it leaves that sticky train? All right, so that was, um, it's actually 10, five past seven now. That was 50 minutes. Um, I have left them even longer. I've left them like, I think, um, an hour and 10 minutes is probably the longest I've left it. Only because I forgot. And I thought, oh no, hope I haven't left it too long. Um, but it was okay. But I'm not quite sure like, if leaving it different times makes a difference. Um, I would like to try one at, say, half an hour and see what happens. So 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Today was 50 minutes just to see what happens. Now, you will have to go and torch because that um, swirling creates some bubbles. So you will have to torch and make sure that you check them. You might have to come back in a few minutes and, and torch again. Uh, I can see some feathering. I can see some feathering. But I think it's pretty much like dropped to the bottom. So I'm going to actually take you down and see if you can see what I see. Do you see what I see? All right, let's go. Let's go and have a look and I'll see if I can show you oh, squeaky little control there Let's see if I can show you I don't know if I can all right are we going to focus are we going to focus autofocus mm. how do you focus hang on maybe I'll get I'll use that one maybe that's clearer oh my gosh why won't you focus? All right, look, look down there. Why isn't autofocus working? There we go. Maybe I'm moving too fast. It doesn't know what to focus on. Look, there's some feathering going on. Down the bottom. Down the bottom where I've just swirled. And another one. So hopefully it will look pretty. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Have some feathering. Yeah, feathering. Oh, how do I focus? <laughs> so anyway, there's some there. Um, whether or not it works, we shall have to wait and see. I am expecting some blobs on the back, but hopefully when I've swirled, it might have like broken the blobs up and like pulled them up a little bit and made them into feathers. So I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. So wish me luck. I'm going to go eat my pizza. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All righty. Are you ready to have a look at these? We're outside. Nice and early. Haven't got much sun yet, but <laughs> it's all on behind that huge tree over there. Okay. Now, I am expecting these to be maybe a bit blobby or maybe really thick, heavy type of um, feathering because I had so much colour drop. I don't think it's going to be like a really 
small <clears throat> like feathering up high let's have a look Ooh, actually that's really pretty oh, maybe I should wait until we've got some better light wow look at that that one's actually quite pretty I don't know if you can see it properly. Maybe I should wait till there's more sunshine out here, hey? That one's really pretty. I might go and make a coffee and then come back and do the rest when we've got a little bit more light because it's a bit dark. I'm happy with that one so far. I've just come over onto the other side of the deck where there's, um, I think there's a bit more sunshine. So let's, this is that one that I just took out. There we go. What's, is that better? Can you see that better? I can't really see it better through my screen, but hopefully you guys can. That's it there. All right, let's get the next one out. Oh, come out really nice and easily. Oh, that one's got a little bit too much of the the lighter green there so it must have done a big blob and it's kind of dropped down that's what happens I think what I need to also do is have less color like it's so jam-packed in there I probably don't need so many blobs you know or drops that I should say drops we don't need that many drops of color so I could possibly reduce the amount oh look at that one that one's really pretty see it all depends on how much color you put in and you know the size of your drops I guess you can see the black there look at that doesn't that look really 3d you can see the black background on that one some of them you can't really see the black background and also it depends on you know how I swirled it as to the design that we're going to get let me get this middle one out and I can't remember which two if it was is it these two or was it these two because it was facing the wrong way and I said I don't think they're gonna work because the little dots that I dropped in were too small wow that one's really pretty too so much heavier obviously with the color I'm getting bitten by little creatures <laughs> bugs out this morning they're biting me <laughs> um. Here's Australia for you. Go outside and get bitten by creatures. Um, yeah, so that one's much more heavier with the with the paste, but it's also really pretty. Oh, there's some sunshine. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. That's the back, and then the front. Oh yeah, okay. So that was the one that I said wasn't going to work because it had all those tiny little drops that I put in afterwards and they're just all sunk so we won't we won't look at that one all right pretend that one's not there the thing I thought I might do is like not fill them all when I get good at this when not fill them all the way but then come back after a few hours and do a top coat like of black or corresponding color so that you just see your pretty side and then just black on the other side but I'm going to be making some pendants out of them I've got a new mold on the go um, for pendants so that's the back let's look at the front okay that's it there it must have been these two then hey yeah no good all right hide that one away <laughs> chuck them in the bin let's have a look at this one oh it's quite heavy too still really pretty though like do you like these that have got more of the the heavier feathering you can't really see a lot of the black on these ones because the feathering is so heavy and that's because my pigment was a little bit heavy I could have put less pigment in or a little bit more alcohol in there we go there's the last one hope you can see them okay uh, now this one here, this is my favorite this is my favorite here because I've got swirling I've got feathering you can see the black background got a little bit of clear so <clears throat> I suppose um, and this one this these two are pretty good so out of all of those I've only really got probably two that I really like so there we go definitely we'll try again with the greens because uh, I haven't perfected it yet and I'd like to 
get a little bit better at it, which means practice, practice, practice. There we go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I'm going to go inside now and make my coffee. I'm getting bitten out here by midges. All right, I'll see you real soon for the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.